Hey, Mel. Yeah, Stephanie, what's up? So, Rachel just called me, and she said she's not going to make it in today because her migraine is not feeling any better, and she's, like, throwing up and stuff. So, she's not going to be able to come in, um, but she's not in trouble for being sick, right? No, of course she's not in trouble for being sick. I'll stay and work her shift today. It's all good. Okay, cool. Thanks. Hi, guys. Oh, hey, boss. Don't you ever take a day off? Not when there's important stuff to do. No. So, like, what are you doing here today? You'll see, Stephanie. You'll see. Ah. Edited. Edited? What do you mean, edited? Do me a favor, Steph. Will you go grab Rachel and meet me in the office? Yeah. All right, ladies. So, I think it's pretty obvious what's been going on here. And I'm not even really upset about the wage theft. Like, I think you should take whatever you can from the company you work for. We don't make that much money. Um, I'm upset that your coworkers are covering your slack when you're not here and opening your positions. And I know they're not happy about it. My coworkers love me. Why wouldn't they want to cover me for just a little bit? It's opening. It's easy. Your coworkers do love you, which sucks because it means they've done way more for you than they should have. And you've taken advantage of that. Even when I had you coming in later for shorter shifts, you would still slack off and they'd have to cover your deficit. Then you asked to work mornings. I moved you to morning shifts. You're always late. Always late. When I had you on closes, you were always late. And being a few minutes late is fine. Almost an hour consistently every shift is not fine. And I know your coworkers aren't happy about it because they've spoken to me about it, about how they don't want to hurt your feelings, but they have other stuff to do that's not your job. Well, no one ever said anything to me about it, Melissa. I wonder why, Stephanie. Is it because you're best friends with Rachel and you're always covering for her and doing things for her that you wouldn't for the other employees? I don't understand what the big issue here is, okay? The store runs fine. Who cares if I'm late? Did you just miss my whole spiel? Um, your coworkers care if you're late. Again, I wouldn't care if maybe I was opening with you, I had to pick up the slack. I normally don't complain about that kind of thing. I wouldn't care about you getting an extra 30 minutes on the clock, but it's affecting your coworkers negatively, and it's not fair to them. So you're fired. You can't fire me over this. I can and I will. If you recall, you've been written up twice for being over an hour late. Today will be your third, and you will also be signing termination paperwork. I don't understand why you even want to work here if you're not even here half the time. And Stephanie, I've never written you up before because you're typically a great shift leader. So I'm going to hope that this was maybe a one-off. You are going to get a write-up for this, but I'm not going to terminate you yet. Okay, I guess. You're not going to stand up for me? I'm not trying to get fired too.